Hi, everybody. This is Campy and Kurt. Welcome to Let's Go Camping with Mount Comfort RV. I'm your host, Kurt Hunt, and whether you're full-timing it in a nice 40-foot motorhome or you just enjoy a long walk in one of Indiana's beautiful state parks, you'll want to stay right here with us as we have some great stories to share with you today. First up is Kevin Kemp from Kemp Outside. He talks about fire safety at your campsite and then our friends at the Indiana Department of Natural Resources share a story of the diversity of the plant and animal populations in our Indiana state parks and forests. So first up, here's Kevin Kemp. Take it away, Kevin. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Today's camping tip is on campfire safety. Everyone loves a good campfire, especially when the evenings are nice and cool. Maybe you're cooking, maybe you're roasting marshmallows or roasting hot dogs with the kids. Campfires are a fantastic part of camping. But sadly, burn centers all across the U.S. see kids every year that are injured by campfires. And so we have a couple of rules in my family that we always use, and I want to share those with you to keep you and your kids safe while camping. Rule number one is we always make sure that our kids have all four feet of their camp chair on the ground. Kids love to rock forward or rock back in camp chairs, especially when they're roasting marshmallows or they're roasting hot dogs over the fire. They want to rock forward in their camp chair, but there's nothing to keep them from falling forward if they rock too far. So we always gently remind our kids to keep all four feet on the ground. Rule number two is that whenever anyone gets up out of their camp chair to go get something, maybe they're getting another marshmallow or a, a drink from the cooler or whatever it is, we always make sure that people walk behind the camp chairs instead of between the camp chairs and the fire ring. That way, if there's any trip hazard, they won't trip and fall in the fire. Rule number three for our family is that we always extinguish our fire before we go to bed. And the whole reason for that is Coals can stay warm throughout the night and they can still be dangerous in the morning. And if your kids get up and are playing in the campsite, they can, they can potentially fall in and burn themselves. We don't want to see anything like that happen to you guys. We want you to be safe. So if you follow these simple rules, you'll have a great time with your family. For Let's Go Camping, I'm Kevin Kemp with Kemp Outside. Did you guys know that you can't just use any toilet paper in your RV? Stay tuned to find out why. When people think of Indiana, they usually think of cornfields and race cars. But some people, they think about beautiful places like our Indiana State Parks. Have you ever been to Fort Harrison State Park, Turkey Run, Brown County? Before Hoosiers made Indiana the place we know today, it was a place of natural diversity, a diversity of plants and animals which still thrive in Indiana's state park system. Indiana is a very big state that has very different natural regions. All the way at the northwestern tip of the state is a natural region defined by Lake Michigan. Indiana Dunes State Park has a sandy beach, big dunes of sand with wetlands in between them, and plenty of forests. This park is unique because it has plants that are found all the way in the Arctic as well as cactus that are found in the desert. It is a fascinating and beautiful place and one that is hard to imagine existing in Indiana. As we make our way south, we come across the flat area that Indiana is known for, the prairie. This area was flattened by the glaciers during the Ice Age. These glaciers left behind a substrate of acidic silt and sand which led to a unique yet beautiful combination of plants and animals. Much of this land has been altered to create farmland. Have you been to Prophetstown State Park to see the beautiful tall grass prairie? Or have you been to Obachi State Park where you can see a small herd of bison? These bison are reminiscent of Obachi's time as a game preserve. 
Historically, bison, our official national mammal, would have roamed these great prairie areas. This small herd, as well as Prophetstown's tall grass prairie, helps to provide us with a snapshot of this diverse habitat. Our last stop, down in southern Indiana, hundreds of miles away from Indiana Dunes State Park, is a different natural region defined by its caves. Have you ever been to Spring Mill State Park or Wyandotte Cave in O'Bannon Woods State Park? Caves have a diversity of animals that spend their whole lives without ever seeing the sun. The Hoosier Cavefish is the top predator in the caves, swimming around looking for aquatic bugs to eat. Caves are also important to several species of bats that spend the winter hibernating in them. Indiana, from an outsider's perspective, seems like a flat area with little to offer when it comes to biological diversity. But once you peel back the layers and take a journey around the state to our wonderful Indiana State Parks, you'll find a whole world of unique habitats with a plethora of amazing plants and animals. You'll likely make a few memories along the way, at least we think so. We can't wait to see you at one of our Indiana State Parks. Start planning your next family vacation with a rental RV from Mount Comfort RV. Our rental fleet features new RVs of all sizes that fit all budgets, beginning at just $71 per day. You can come and go on your own schedule. No lines, no canceled flights, and no hassles. Enjoy the safest and most secure way to travel with your family and friends while enjoying both the journey and the destination. For more information on RV rentals, go to mountcomfortrv.com. Coming up, the Camping Hoosiers Katie and Troy share a couple of their favorite campgrounds in southern Indiana. But first, the Winnebago Solus camper van is designed so you and your family can take on any adventure. Here's Travis and Campy with more on one of the best RVs of the year. Hey guys, what's up? It's Campy. I am here at Mount Comfort RV and we are with Travis today. Travis, what are we looking at? So this is a 2021 Winnebago Solus 59PX. Wow! I don't know what that means. <laughs> so it's the model of the Class B van. Very popular. Um, you might have heard of van life. Oh yeah, hashtag so, van life. Right, hashtag van life. Big movement right now. Um, been around for years, but with the explosion of the RV uh, industry in the past year here, um, van life has been huge, especially amongst the millennials. So mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know if you wanted to take a look around. Which way you want to go? That way? This way? This way. Let's go this way. <laughs> All right. This so, is beautiful. Right. So on a uh, Ram Promaster chassis, I don't know if that means anything to you, but a lot of times you'll see these types of vans um, carrying stuff for different businesses, cargo vans and stuff like that. Um, well, Winnebago and a bunch of other uh, companies have decided it's a great for, for building campers in. So um, as you can see, they make some customizations, give you an upstairs, pretty sweet. Nice. Um, but that, that does come down yep. for when you're on the road? Yep. Okay. Um, so back here, a couple of the things. This is a cassette toilet. So... Um, a toilet on the outside? A, well, it's a toilet on the inside, but oh. you open this up and you take out um, the tank, essentially, and you go dump it somewhere. Kind of allows you to be off the grid uh, oh. a little bit more than if you needed to hook up to a dump station or something like that so okay really nice yep uh, this is where you hook up your power so you plug this thing in and all your lights and air, air conditioning and everything else works dump your gray tank okay. back there so hidden gem in this solace um, b vans have very tiny restrooms and i'll show you that when we go inside there uh, but typically the shower is slightly larger than my body um, and the toilet's included and, 
everything else are correct. So, and nobody likes touching a shower, you know, with their uh -huh. arms and things like that. So what Winnebago has done with the Solus has made this awesome area out here. Ah, All right, great. so um, it comes with a shower curtain that hangs right here. And then you've got this water station. Oh my God. Yeah. A, so, a trendy outdoor shower moment. Right, exactly. And then if you want more privacy, obviously, you can zip these up. Uh -huh. um, and all people can see are your ankles, right? <laughs> Which, in the 20s, that would have been taboo. Oh, no. But nowadays, eh? Yeah, show them off, Travis. Right? Eh? Oh! <laughs> so, Wait, can I give it a can I Yeah, give it a get try? in there. Okay. Get in there. So you would turn the water on from right here? Yep. So this little where guy. Would it come, where would the water so, come out of? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come in here for a second. I'm in the shower. OK. Um, so a hose hooks up right here. Uh -huh. And then you got a, a spray nozzle. That comes with the coach as well. OK. Like a shower spray nozzle. And then you just turn it on. Nice. Let it go. It's pretty roomy too. So yeah, absolutely. Do you want to look at the rest of it? Yes, please. All right. Let's, go inside. Yeah. So inside the Solus, you got sleeping for up to four. Go oh, ahead wow. in there. Thank you. Yeah. Here's another water station right here as well. So you can run a hose out oh. side and use the water on this side as well. All right. So seating for four while you're traveling um, automotive style seats back here with seat belts this dinette when the ladder's not here will flip around mm -hmm. uh, nice. and then these two seats can swivel around and three or four people can sit here play cards eat dinner anything like that nice you can check out the upstairs i do i'm this ladder i'm really like curious what yeah, i'm gonna find go up here so sleeping for two up there oh oh my goodness oh Travis. Hello. I noticed there are some like zippers around. Yeah. Are those windows? They are. So you unzip <laughs> those and you can get some natural light and ventilation in there. Wow. Um, there's also a vent up top right there. So plenty of airflow. So it wouldn't feel too claustrophobic. Correct. You can get some light. You can get some airflow. Yes, ma'am. So what do you think? I love it. Like Pretty I said, nice, right? I'll buy it. <laughs> well, how about I show you the rest of it before okay. you sign that purchase agreement? Okay. All right, deal. So <laughs> you can cook in here. You got a two burner cooktop stove and a little uh, extra countertop space oh, slash cutting board. Nice. Right, effective use of space. Mm -hmm. Essential in an in a RV, especially a B van. A sink. And then here is that restroom I was talking about. Oh. Yeah, so. Oh, it, it, I mean, it's cute. It's perfect it's not too small for you i mean it's small but it's not <laughs> <laughs> okay okay it's a little small it's a little small i might opt for the outdoor shower you know so if the weather's good <laughs> yeah but if not you can use that that toilet does swivel around for your comfort and mm -hmm. then they've got a bar in here so you can use this as a closet Right, those nicer oh. months when you're using the outdoor shower more. Um, or if you're gonna be on the road for quite some time, obviously you need places to put your things. Mm -hmm. So you have some options. Correct. And then, ouch, <gasps> be careful. And then you've got another little uh, dinette table here mm -hmm. that you can use for either workspace or mm -hmm. food, cards. My little remote, Right. remote work. That's correct. Yes. And then my work from home, work from van, work from van. Here is the primary sleeping <gasps> in this coach. Wow. Okay. Everything just folds out. So sneaky. <laughs> right. <laughs> Very nice. Right? Design. And then all this storage up top on either side right. there. So in this one, I know Tony probably can't see up here. But that's where your shower curtain, um, as well as your windshield cover and everything else like that for privacy are. Campy, you want to drive this thing? Let's go. Are you guys ready? <laughs> you look so scared. <laughs> you look so scared, Travis. You're going to be fine. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. OK, this is crazy. This is a video camera. So you can also go to the camera 
I mean, sorry, oh, just a mirror. Oh, it is a mirror. And then when you flip this up, you've got video. <gasps> monitoring, rear, rear view monitoring. So high tech. Yeah. So where do you want to go? Um, you know what, Travis? Yeah. Did you know that it's go free that donut day? What? It's free donut day! <gasps> oh, I love donuts. Let's go. Oh, hey, it's Harry. Hi, Harry. Bye, Harry. We're going to get donuts. Don't tell him. Oh, yeah. All right. We're on our way. Donut, donut, donut day. Okay, I've been working on my um, RV wave. Yeah. I decided maybe something kind of whimsical like this. It could catch on. You know, like when you see another van lifer, hit him with a wave. Yeah, I think that'll pick up. Yeah, try it. Feels good. No. <laughs> Fine. I'll just be doing it by myself. Probably. <laughs> probably forever. People will be like, what's wrong with her? Oh, wait. Yes, thank you so much. You too. Thanks. I'm just going to park it right here. All right. Oh. Oh, I'm so glad that we got this donut. Yeah, chocolate I, frosted. I was under the impression that we were getting donuts. Oh, well, yeah, no. Can you can you take me back? <laughs> so sorry, Travis. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but it's donut day, free donut. Right. They don't. They right. only give you one. Mmm. Oh, it's good donut. Back to you, Kurt. Mm-hmm. Try our easy-to-use Shop by Payment tool. You set what you want to spend, and our True Payments engine will find the best matches across our entire inventory. You can even add your trade-in. You'll get customized financing for every vehicle matching your budget. You'll be amazed at what you can buy. There is no impact on your credit and no obligation to buy. Shop by Payment. Grab your bathing suits and sunblock. Whoa, wait a minute. Where are we going now? Troy, just sit back and enjoy as we revisit two of our favorite Indiana campgrounds that not only provide great camping, but also hours of fun on the water. Take a look. Lake Monroe has to be one of my favorites just because, again, we've been there so many times. We know it backwards and forwards. Um, I think there's uh, some nostalgia there for us both. Yeah, so. yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, because we had our very first camping experience when we were in a pup tent um, till you know, just a few weeks ago when we went and, you know, had this wonderful camper to utilize, so. The girls. Well, it was a girls weekend, but he set it up for us and came and picked us up afterwards, so. <laughs> Got some points, husband points for that one. Um, but yeah, the lake's there. It's a beautiful lake. If you've um, not been, we definitely recommend Lake Monroe. Um, it's the largest lake in Indiana. So uh, it's just gorgeous. There are so many things to do. Um, they have lots of activities for kids, um, great playground. So yeah, we really enjoy it. And I think the, the last one that I would probably recommend, and I think we both would agree on this one, um, as far as a private campground that we both really liked is Lake Rudolph. Um, oh yeah. We love Holiday World. Uh, we had tent camp there before. They allow you to rent golf carts, which... We always do. We it, do, it's pricey. It's pricey, but it's worth it yeah, because... It's such a large campground yeah. and pretty much everybody there does rent a golf cart. So um, it's fun just to get out and drive around. They do a golf cart parade. Um, so cool. Yeah. So cool. And people get so into it. You, you, there are times where we were just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe people, people like people did that. decorate their entire golf cart. Um, I mean, they'll make it into different like shapes and animals yeah. and so get into UPS themes. Truck last year. Yeah, UPS <laughs> truck. Yeah, it's just so fun. It's super safe. Everyone's super friendly. Um, the campsites are amazing. Full hookup. They have mini golf. Yep. Kids played mini golf. I mean, when we weren't at Holiday World, they were playing mini golf. It's a big pretty camera. central location, so mm -hmm. no matter where you are, you're not going to be far from the mini golf. Yeah, yeah. And then, too, just like driving around, they have tons of, of cabins that you can drive through, trailers, like full time campers, I want to say they use as like little rentals and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just gorgeous. 
Holiday, yeah, cabins. Um. But then the best part is if you're going to Holiday World, they have shuttles. So we would take the shuttle to the park, uh, come back for lunch, so we would not spend a bunch of money there at the park. Mm -hmm. um, eat lunch, rest for a while, go back to the park for the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And the uh, shuttle, like in one minute, you're at the park. Right. Yeah, so it's great. For pricing information, amenities, campground maps, or to make a reservation at Payne Town at Lake Monroe or at Lake Rudolph next to Holiday World, head on over to our website, letsgocamping.com. For Let's Go Camping, this is Katie and Troy, your Camping Hoosiers. Mud dauber screens. Can't get enough of them. Find out why in a moment. Stay tuned. Imagine picking the kids up from school in one of those soulless camper vans. What a treat. So here's our quiz for today. What is Sarah Land? Give up? Well, Sarah Land is one of the most beautiful and most active campgrounds in the Midwest. It's 350 acres of rolling park grounds featuring a beautiful campground and over 26 different outdoor and indoor attractions. Those attractions include an Olympic sized swimming pool, an 11 acre lake with fishing and boating, mini golf and a driving range, rental cabins, weekend entertainment, and much, much more. And the best part is, it's just one hour south of Indianapolis in Columbus, Indiana. Reservations are being taken now at saraland.org. That's C-E-R-A-L-A-N-D dot O-R-G. Well, Campy has made her way to the parts store at Mount Comfort RV to outfit her new camper with some help from parts expert Rick Helvey. Hey guys, what's up? It's Campy. I am here with Rick Helvey, one of the parts experts at Mount Comfort RV. So Rick, let's say I've just picked up my new RV. What are some of the accessories I'm going to need to equip my camper? I'll be glad to help you with that, Campy. This is a Valterra 15-foot sewer hose called a Silverback. It's a very heavy hose. It will hook to your camper and go straight to your way station so that you don't have any mess. Very easy to use. Thank you. Also with that, we use our, our uh, Aquasoft by Thetford two-ply toilet tissue. This toilet tissue breaks down. It's a special tissue for the RVs. You do not want to try to use Charmin or anything like that in your camper. You always want to use an RV tissue. Uh, this will break down, like I said, and not cause you to have any bills for plumbing problems or clogs or anything like that. Thank you. Very important. Yes, very important. This is the toilet chemical. This is made by Waylex. This is Porta Pack. There's six or eight pods in this package. Uh, it has a fragrance. It also it helps in alleviate with the toilet paper, break it down so that everything flows smoothly and we don't have any clogs in the plumbing system. Awesome. This is your water pressure regulator. This is a, to keep the lines on the inside of the camper from having any damage. If we pull into a campsite and we hook up our water hose with this, it will not, it will not allow any high pressure to blow any lines inside the camper. It will keep it safe so you don't have any big service bills. This is your drinking water hose. This is a Never Kink 25 foot. It is a white and blue uh, RV drinking water hose. You can uh, hook this to your water pressure regulator to the side of your camper and it will provide clean water for your dishwashing and your showers. So Rick, why wouldn't I just bring my garden hose from home? The garden hoses today are made with a chemical that we don't want that chemical inside the camper, that water in the water in the camper. That's why you would not always want to use an RV hose, which is a blue or a white and blue hose for your water coming into your camper and oh. not your garden hose. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. This is your mud dauber screen. This, what this does is protect your appliances that are accessible to the outside with a screen so that we can have what mud daubers or skeeter hawks not move in while you're moved out. They smell the propane and they want to build a nest inside your furnace, inside your water heater or your refrigerator and this will keep them from doing that. Wait, wait, what is a mud dauber? What's a skeeter hawk? Well, they're very large bugs like uh, large mosquitoes and they tend to love the smell of propane so they'll move in the minute you move out so it's good to keep them out of your camper okay i'll take five of those yes this is your 30 amp surge protector this is made by southwire this is going to keep our electricity inside of our camper safe so if we hook into our pole at our campsite we'll plug this in first it'll let us know everything's good to go it'll light up green and it'll also protect us against these storms that come into central indiana and cause lightning strikes and damages our upon our camper okay 30 amp surge guard and last but not least is our lynx levelers these are 
uh, made to lay on the ground and have your camper pull up on top of them. They're like Legos, like kids' Legos. There's 10 of them in a package. They, um, they will help you level your appliances like your refrigerator, your water heater, and furnace all tend to work better when your camper's level. Mm -hmm. Thank you so You're much, You're more than Rick. welcome. All right. So I think I'm in good shape. I'm, I'm feeling ready to go camping. I think oh, you no, are. Oh, no, I'm going to need those porta packs. Yep, we're going to have that. Thank you so much, Rick. Poor thing. <laughs> So, if I need anything else, where can I find you? You come to Mount Comfort RV Parts Department. We're here 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, and 9 to noon on Saturday, and we'll be glad to help you. Thank you so much. You're All right, I'm going to go welcome. check out now. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. Back to you, Kurt. Hey, guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. You know, one of my favorite activities when I'm camping to do with my kids is to go fishing. So a lot of times when I'm planning my next camping adventure, I'm looking to see if the place where I'm going camping has anywhere to fish. And a lot of campgrounds or state parks have ponds or lakes, or maybe they're even on a river. And a lot of them have fishing piers or docks uh, or even good bank access to go fishing. And my kids love it. And it's a great opportunity to get them outside and to get them experiencing nature. And so whether they love to fish and you could spend a whole day out there, or even if it's just a couple of hours, it's a great way to spend time as a family and a great way to get outside. So what I've done is I've added a little bit of fishing gear to my camping gear so that's always ready to go when I want to go camping. So what I take typically are a couple of spinning rods. And what I do is I make sure that they're two piece rods like this rod right here. And so I can take that rod apart and I can collapse it so that it's always ready to go uh, when I want to go camping. The other thing that I do is I make sure that I have some hooks and some weights and some artificial worms like this. I catch a lot of bass on these, and my kids do too, and it's a great way to just go fishing uh, where you don't have to have a whole lot of stuff. Maybe you want a, a set of pliers or fish grippers in there. Maybe you want a landing net as well. But by and large, you don't need a whole lot. Make sure you get a fishing license for whatever state you're camping in. And guys, have a great time out there fishing with your kids. For Let's Go Camping, I'm Kevin Kemp with Kemp Outside. Well, our time's up for this edition of Let's Go Camping with Mount Comfort RV. We're glad you joined us and hope you'll be with us again soon. Remember, you can always go to our website, letsgocamping.com, to revisit this show or past shows from our video library. And don't forget, be kind to one another and always extinguish your campfire completely before you retire for the night. So long, everybody.